give a nice round of applause for our first speaker today, Dr. Brent Wall. Well, thank you. It, uh, uh, I'm grateful for the chamber for putting on this and allowing us to uh, come and uh, give this presentation. So, uh, yes, I enjoy being a chiropractic or a chiropractor. It's a very uh, rewarding job, and uh, and some of the information I want to share today, hopefully, I, uh, it's not too much. Oh, we're up and running. Good. So we got a PowerPoint. That'll make it easier for me. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm, our office is located on 750 North Main Street. Uh, I've been there four years uh, on February 1st, so it's been great uh, being able to be a part of this community and uh, definitely love Spanish Fork and, and the surrounding areas, and, and it's been great. So today I wanted just to uh, share with you six steps that you can do to help reduce stress and increase energy, okay? Um, <clears throat> do I have a little switcher? We don't have a switcher around that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I might just pass on the PowerPoint then, maybe. <laughs> You want to do it? Sure. All right, thanks. Uh, so I want to share with you some things that you can do to help increase uh, your energy by 40%, uh, increase productivity as well by 40%. I'm going to show you some things that you can do to reduce stress in your, by 50% in life, and uh, uh, some other great things about uh, overall health and wellness as well. So let's go ahead and next slide there. 95% uh, of all Americans surveyed uh, indicate that they do not have enough energy. How many of you would say that's true? Okay. Uh, uh, and who, who wants to take a guess without looking at the PowerPoint? Uh, how, who's the most stressed out people in the world? Did I say that right? Go ahead. <laughs> I'll, I'll speak for you. <laughs> Women who work and have kids under the age of 13, they're the most stressed out. They have the most stress in their, in their life, and we all can, uh, uh, those that have kids can uh, relate to that. So next slide, please. So stress, there's, a, there's two, two definitions I like to talk about. One is wellness, okay, and two is stress. Stress is, a, there, there's physical, there's chemical, and there's emotional stress that we can experience in our life, okay? All of these are a huge factor to, to our health, okay? So if we don't, can't learn to manage and, re and reduce the stress in, in our life, we're just more prone to experience more uh, health issues, okay? And the, the next topic, the definition there that I like is wellness. It's the quality or state of being in good health, especially as an actively sought out goal, okay? So to, to achieve uh, a more stress-free life, we need to be actively involved in it, okay? Uh, and so it needs to be a goal of ours, and as, if that becomes a goal and we actively seek that, that out, we will reach a, a state of wellness, and, and that's the goal of this presentation. Next slide. Uh, the first step that I like to talk about, and all these steps I could spend a lot of time, and I'm going to try to condense it down into five-minute presentation here, but the first step is a healthy diet, okay? Food plays a huge role in the amount of energy and our ability to control stress in our lives. Anybody seen those uh, five-hour commercials? Aren't those lovely? Uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, you know, drink one of these and, and you'll have the energy for the rest of the day or, you know, replace instead of caffeine or instead of coffee, you know, take one of these in the morning. Well, what happens at two o'clock, the reason why people experience this little dip in energy and, and uh, in their life is because of what they eat for lunch, okay? So what we do is we tend to, our lunches tend to be packed full of carbohydrates and fats, okay? And that creates this huge rush of, of, of sugar in our bloodstream, which causes a release of insulin that causes a dip down in, in, our, in the sugar in our bloodstream. And that's where we get this dip. And that's where we get this lack of energy. And we want to go to sleep and, and things like that. So if we can have a meal that's more, um, more full of complex carbohydrates and protein and have a good one-to-one -one ratio with that, then that's going to help keep those blood sugars a little more leveled. And we're not going to experience this dip in, in our blood sugar. Okay, so go ahead, next slide here. So a diet rich in whole grains, vegetables, and fruits, avoid alcohol, caffeine, and tobacco are essential to um, reducing stress and increase in energy. Okay, next question. Step two, very, very simple step. This simple step will increase your energy by 50% and help reduce stress by 40%, okay? It's pure H2O water, okay? Water has a lot of benefits. 
uh, it'll increase our energy, mental clarity, help us have better skin, it'll help us sleep better and, you, and actually lose weight. Okay, next slide please. When it comes to water, we tend to wait until we're dehydrated or we feel thirsty before we drink. Okay, but you can be dehydrated and not necessarily feel thirsty. Okay, that's one, just one of the symptoms of being dehydrated, but you can have weakness, you can have nausea, you can, have, you can be irritable, uh, you can have experienced headaches. All of these are indication that you're not getting enough water. Um, so when we're dehydrated, we feel this way, we feel irritable, we feel, uh, we feel tired, um, creates headaches, and therefore reduces our ability to, to handle the stresses that we experience in life. So next question is, how much water should we be drinking? Anybody want to take a guess? Glass water every hour? Or every hour, that's a good one, yeah. There's a simple calculation that we can do for each of you. Take your body weight, divide it by two, and that's how many ounces of water you should be drinking. Okay, so make math simple. If you weigh 200 pounds, divide it by two, that's 100. So 100 ounces of water you should be drinking every day. Okay? Um, so those of you that may think that you may be drinking a lot of water, I hope you are great, but I would also encourage you to just to measure it to find out exactly if you are drinking enough water. Now this, this calculation here is your baseline, okay? So if you work outside or in the yard, you're sweating a lot, or you go exercise, then you want to increase your water from there, but that's your, your baseline. Uh, and I always encourage the patients that I uh, encourage to take this challenge, I love the feedback I get because they, they come back. You know, I had one patient lost 13 pounds just by replacing, you know, water with, uh, instead of her soda pop. Um, and what, I, what they experience is they start drinking more water and they start feeling better, but then they stop doing it and then they realize how crappy they felt prior to it. So I, I encourage everybody to take the challenge of simply drinking more water, okay? And it's pure H2O water. It's not the wa water found in, in, uh, in our food or in, uh, in our soda. It's, uh, it's, it's pure H2O. <laughs> Step three is sleep, okay? Sleep and rest is vital to our ability to handle stress, okay? A couple pointers here. Sleep is when our body heals, okay? So if we're not getting enough sleep, uh, then our body's not being healed, it's not being replenished, and reduces our levels of energies and reduces our ability to handle stress. So anybody want to tell me how many hours of sleep we need? Seven to eight, exactly, okay? What's the best times to be sleeping? Night, yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> hours of 10 and 2, okay? So if you want to get good, these, these are the hours you want to get good quality sleep are between the hours of 10 and 2, okay? Particularly as it relates to stress because our, that's like, like I mentioned, that's when our body replenishes itself. And so there's a gland called the adrenal gland and that sits right above our kidney. And that, that organ there is vital, releases hormones that affect our ability to handle stress. And uh, so when, that, when we're not getting the good quality sleep between the hours of 10 and 2, that organ's not being replenished as well as it should be and therefore reduces our ability to uh, control our stress and manage our stress. Also will cause increase in weight gain and, and things like that. So hours of 10 and 2 are vital. Good. Next slide. Uh, so there's, a, there's two, a couple things I want to talk about as far as improving sleep. Go ahead and go to the next one. One is power naps. I like to take power naps. Anybody take power naps? Good, I like that nodding head. Okay, there's a couple points about power naps. Power naps are great, taking a few minutes out of the day to calm down, relax, clear the mind. So you can actually take a sleep, you know, take a nap, or you can just power down. Power naps, there's a couple points here. First, never sleep more than the past 30 minutes, okay? Sundays are classic for this. When we sleep on Sundays and you sleep past a half hour, when you wake up, you actually feel more droggy. Well, one, you can't wake up. It's hard to wake up from that long nap. Uh, and then you feel more droggy, and then when it's time to go to sleep, you can't go to sleep. Okay, so the power naps, you want to keep them under 30 minutes because uh, once we get past 30 minutes, you get into deeper sleep. Okay, uh, but research has shown that if we can take a 15-minute power nap, you will be more alert, you will have less stress, and you will improve your cognitive uh, function. Okay, next slide. I also want to share briefly seven steps to, uh, to sleep like a baby, okay? A couple things. First of all, set a schedule. Try to go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time. Okay, um, exercising 30, 20 to 30 minutes a day will help you sleep better at night. The key to that one is you never want to exercise right before you go to bed. Um, you want to do it five to six hours before you go to bed. Uh, avoiding caffeine, caffeine, nicotine, and alcohol because all of those stimulants rob you of, uh, of deep sleep and REM sleep. Um, 
Next step here, I'm hoping I'm not going too fast. I'm trying to cover everything in my short amount of time. But relax before you go to bed. Now, some of us can just jump right in bed and fall right asleep. But most of us can't, okay? And I like to use kids as an example. I have, I have two kids, a three-year-old and a one-year-old. And we have a routine for them where, you know, uh, we'll give them a bath or we'll read them a story or we'll, we'll sing some songs. Or we do some things before we put them to bed to help them relax. And it's the same for adults. You know, before we jump into bed, take a few minutes to relax. Take 30 minutes to, to read a book, take a warm bath. Uh, listen to some quiet music, do some pondering, do some meditation, do some stretching. Things like that will help you re relax and, and be able to fall asleep better. Uh, don't lie in bed and wake. So if you're having a hard time falling asleep, um, get out of bed and do some of those things that will help you relax. If your mind's going crazy, a simple tip that's been able to, that helps me and, and it helps a lot of people is if you have a thought about something that's going on tomorrow, simply write it down. It's amazing. If you just write down that thought or that worry or that thing you got to get done tomorrow, uh, it's amazing how your mind can just let go of it and you can, you can relax and, and go to sleep. Okay? Make the, the, the room environment should be dark, quiet, and tend to be on the cooler side because you want to be able to sleep under your covers. And the last point there is make the bedroom a place for sleeping. Okay? It's not the kitchen. It's not the TV room. It's not the computer office room. It's uh, you know, it's for sleeping, and it's there's just a, there's an internal awareness, internal clock within each of us. And so, step four, active lifestyle. Now, a simple thing uh, to sum up this slide here. Another topic we spend a lot of time in is exercise is vital to our energy levels, vital to our ability to handle stress. The key to this is find an activity that you enjoy doing and find it find somebody to do it with you. When you do that, we can be more active. Next slide here. A couple things I like to talk about as far as we can find simple ways to be a little more active in our in our just daily routine, you know. <clears throat> For instance, any of us sit up behind a desk? Okay, so if you sit behind a desk, get an exercise ball, have it there by your desk. You don't need to sit on the exercise ball all day, but you know, take 20 minutes out of the day to sit on that instead of the chair. That are going to help build some core strength and, and, and things like that. You know, you're walking down the hall or or uh, you're going to the bathroom, do some lunges down the hall. Make it fun, right? You can do some lunges, do some wall squats. You know, you've been sitting for a long time. Get up and just go lean against the wall and, and squat down against the wall and just do some strength training like that. Um, you know, take the stairs instead of the elevator. You know, park a little further away from the, the grocery store. All these little things that can uh, uh, add up to increase your levels of activity in life. So you don't necessarily need to designate a particular time to do it, but just adding some of these can help uh, increase your energy and reduce your stress by getting a little more exercise. Next slide there. Step five, positive attitude. Uh, I always try to avoid the negative things of the world. Try to um, have positive thoughts um, and speak kind of others. Um, anytime we can avoid negativity in our life, the more stress we're the less stress we're going to have and the more energy we're going to have. We spend a lot of time wasting energy on, uh, on negative thoughts. Next, step, step six, uh, nerve and body stress reduction. Okay, there's a lot of therapies, a lot of things out there that can help reduce a lot of the stress and tension that we experience in our body. A lot of us tend to carry a lot of stress on our upper back, neck, region, and it causes headaches. So if, if you experience headache, you experience a lot of stress and tension, there's a lot of therapies out there that can help. Chiropractic works phenomenal. Massage therapy works great. Physical therapy. Um, um, acupuncture is another good, good one to do. So taking care of your body, taking care of some of the physical needs and the physical stress that are on our bodies can help, will, will help increase energy and reduce stress. Uh, in our office, we utilize a, a new technology called Pro Adjuster, which, all, which allows us to accurately scan the spine um, and, and find out where the tension and where the stress is on, on the spine and on the nervous system. And then we can use the same instrument to deliver the adjustment to restore motion to those joints to help reduce the tension in the muscles. So we can do that without any twisting, turning, or popping. So it's, it's very nice. Uh, next slide. Um, next slide. Uh, I won't have time for this, but I was going to teach, try to teach a, a technique called trigger point therapy that will help reduce a lot of the stress and temp, uh, tension up here. Uh, I do a class every Tuesday night in my office uh, and where I teach this, so if anybody's ever interested in learning how to do this uh, technique, you can contact me at my office at 801-798-2515. So, next slide. So, any of the guests here, anybody listening, if you're experiencing a lot of stress, experiencing a lot of headaches, a lot of neck pain, 
Uh, we, typically, our new patient evaluation is $65 to $160, depending on the, the complexity. But for the guests there, we're doing it for $17. So if you mention this uh, presentation, mention this uh, at our office, you can come and get a one-on-one -on -one consultation and a thorough examination and a pro adjuster adjustment uh, for, for 17 bucks. I also have some coupons here if you're interested in getting adjusted with a half hour massage. Um, you can get that for 50. Also, you can get a 50 minute massage for 35 bucks. So I do have some coupons there to help reduce some of the stress and tension. So I appreciate your time. Any questions up here? I don't want to take more 